Hello, my name is Carl Murdoch. I'm an application engineer at Tektronix, and I'd like to demonstrate how I use Python 3.5 for remote instrument control. The host computer is running a retail copy of Windows 10 with all the current updates and an internet connection. A few programs have been installed, but Windows settings are mostly unchanged. I am using the default Windows installer from python.org. It is 32-bit. Why Python? My personal justification is how quickly you can get started. Commercial software can be easier to set up, but Python is no cost. Other no-cost solutions require more configuration or prior knowledge. The default settings are fine. I click Install Now. Why Python 3 and not Python 2? Succinctly, Python 2 is legacy. No updates are planned for Python 2. Python 3 is under active development. External module compatibility is a compelling reason to use a specific version, but the few modules I need, PyVisa, NumPy, and Matplotlib are compatible with Python 3. And personal preference, I really like the addition of the bytes data type in Python 3. The everything as a string mentality of Python 2 is awkward to me. I'm going to use the launcher via the command line. The launcher is py, py. I use the argument dash h for help. I'm not going over all the options. I am looking for the dot m option to call the pip module. I recall list is a command for pip to list all the installed modules. Since I get a version notice from pip, I'll go ahead and perform the pip upgrade now. Pip will automatically download and configure what you need from the Python package index. The best part about pip is that it can automatically address dependencies. I can also use the pip command help to see everything pip can do. Here I command pip to install matplotlib and pyvisa. PIP will automatically include any additional modules required by matplotlib and pyvisa, specifically numpy. PIP is central for rapid setup of my desired Python environment. To check my work, I'll use PIP list to see all local modules and versions. And that is all from the command line. PIP has additional maintenance features that I will not cover. Please reference the PIP documentation if you are curious. Now let's see if it works. I launch IDLE, the standard IDE. I'm going to use simple plot matplotlib example. This executes flawlessly. Instrument communication isn't as trivial because it is dependent on hardware. PyVisa still requires a Visa solution. Here I'm using NIVisa because I have a GPIB-USB-HS Plus for occasional GPIB connectivity. I have an MDO3104 attached as a USB device. I can get the Visa descriptor from NIMAX. I can even use the NIVisa tools to quickly test connectivity. As you can see, everything is nominal. From here, I can run the sample code from Tektronix support forum. This example is subject to change, so it may not look exactly like it does here.
Here we have the probe compensation signal with proper voltage and time scaling. I now have a basic Python environment to develop my own instrument automation solutions. From here, I recommend dissecting some of our other examples in the Tektronix support forums, even if you don't have the hardware to run the code. Identifying the Python and instrument commands and cross-referencing each with the respective documentation is the fastest way to learn remote instrument control techniques. Subscribe for future videos, and best of luck with your testing.